A local bus driver is the driving force behind an act of kindness that really took off running, quite literally. NBC 10 Sam Reed shows us something good. For 16 years in Stonington, Connecticut, Raylene Whitford makes the wheels go round go working as a bus driver. How are you? For Southeast Area Transit, also known as SEAT. I've always enjoyed driving. For a low fare, six days a week. She takes people places in between Pocketuck, Stonington, and Mystic. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll Thank see you, you later. Too. It's their means of transportation. She's come into contact with hundreds of people over the years, many of whom she lends an ear to. So how was work today, Navlet? You get to know a lot of different people, and, you know, you get to hear everybody's story and everybody's struggle. A few weeks ago, Raylene overheard a 13-year-old asking his mom if he could join the school's track team. Unfortunately, she told him money was too tight. And I kind of butted in and said, you know, do you mind if I post something? So Raylene took to Facebook asking if anyone would be so kind as to help a single mom with a pair of used running shoes. What happened next, she never expected. People were asking, could they donate money? Could they um, send me gift cards to like Dick's or Kelly's Pace? Um, and I had no idea what Kelly's Pace was. It was my wife, actually. She, she posted onto the Facebook forum and said, oh, go see Jeff at Kelly's Pace. He'll take care of them. Ten years ago, Jeff Anderson and his wife took over Kelly's Place in the old Mystic Village. It's a store that sells running shoes and everything else that comes with it. I have four kids, so you know, I know what it costs to, to outfit them with shoes. It's for that reason the owners offered a free pair for the teen. We feel it's our obligation to give back to the community. He came in, got fitted, and days later, a thank you card came in the mail. It makes us feel good. You know, it's, it's something that we can do and we want to do it. And we feel that, um, you know, you can't change the world, but sometimes you can change one person. As a single mom herself, Raylene says she knows the struggle. She's been in those shoes before. But thankfully, this time around, there's an awesome new pair. And it just renewed my faith in, in the community. Like, it was truly a beautiful thing. I get goosebumps talking about it because it is amazing. Showing you something good. Have a great day, Austin. I'll probably see you later. I'm Sam Reed. She's a peach. Don't you just want to, I want to sit on the bus and eavesdrop well, for a little while. You know what I would like her to do? I'd like her to pick us up here at Channel 10 and mm -hmm. we'll just go around the block a couple of times. And just talk about stuff, I know. right? Sometimes that's all you need to do is talk about stuff. Exactly, too. And I always say the, 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 the importance and the power of hi, H-I, two letters, mm -hmm. one word. We need to put our phones down and say it more and clearly she does. She does, absolutely. All right, if you want to show us something good, upload your pictures or videos using Chime In on Turner10.com or the NBC10 News app. Sam Reed. We'll tell your story. All right, next at 